subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Technology got a question in said, Nick bro, my A plus is already at 95% capacity. What does this mean? So in this video, I want to talk about, you know, explain that this battery health section in your iPhone, if you're not understanding fully what this means. So to really understand this, first of all, we have to go back to December of 2017 with the whole throttling fiasco that was going on where Apple was slowing down or unexpectedly shutting down iPhones because batteries were aging. In this video, we're covering a six, 6S Plus, 7 Plus, doesn't matter. They all have these features. You just can't get this feature on phones prior to the iPhone 6. So Apple responded by putting a battery health feature in iOS 11.3 and offering a $29 replacement if you do have a battery issue. With this feature, you will be able to go ahead and you know disable the you know shutdowns if you want in the, in the peak performance capability section if you do have an unexpected shutdown. So how do we navigate to this feature? Well, I'm gonna show on the 6S Plus. Now I do have a serious battery drain issue on the 6S Plus. Let's take a look at it right now. 36%, you're gonna see a drain throughout this video. But if we go down to the battery, you can see that in this section, it does say, you know, your typical battery percentage low power mode, but down here is where we really wanna see stuff. In battery health beta, you can see, I have 86% capacity. So this 6S Plus is only operating at 86% of its health. Now, that means that the battery no longer holds as many milliamps as it used to. So if you wanna know specific MAH on your battery or milliamp hours remaining, I'll go ahead and leave an app that I recommend can check those out in the link below in the description. But when you get a unexpected shutdown, you will be able to hit peak performance capability and disable this. So what that means is that your phone will no longer be throttling the performance and you'll be able, to, it'll be using as much power as it can at its certain capacity. A little bit more information about your iPhone's battery health. These are actually rated to do about 500 complete charge cycles. And if you don't know what a complete charge cycle is, it's basically when you deplete your battery all the way down to zero. Now I don't recommend this because that's how you lose this capacity so if you're wondering why your capacity keeps going down pay attention to how often you are letting your iphone deplete like to zero and shut completely off that's when you're going to start seeing these percentages go down for example my iphone 10 i don't have it right here at the moment but it does have 100 percent because i've never actually really let it deplete now it's okay to do this you know once a month or so but to do this frequently you're going to see this capacity drain much quicker so when should you worry well you shouldn't worry if you're not seeing a significant drain on your iPhone, but if you are, do take advantage of Apple's $29 battery replacement this year before it is up because it's going to go back up to like 80 bucks next year. But I've seen that, you know, the iPhones that I've replaced, I replaced the seven earlier this year, the maximum capacity, when you get near that 80% mark, this is where you start to see significant issues with the battery. So if you're in the nineties, you shouldn't see too much of a difference and I wouldn't worry too much about it. So that's basically if the battery is not holding its maximum capacity, sometimes it can't, you know, deliver peak power. So then the iPhone might shut off on you and then you'll be able to disable that throttling feature if you would like there and after. But once you disable it, you cannot re-enable it until you have another unexpected shutdown. So keep that in mind. So that's the battery health explained. I hope that answered your question. The person who asked that, they asked me over on Instagram. I hope that answered your question here in this video. But I'm gonna give a couple tips on what I've done to keep my battery capacity on my iPhone pretty high. So first of all, you gotta improve your charging habits. So don't let these phones die to 0%. Number two, once you get around that 50% mark, if you go below 50, that's gonna take a toll on the cells and the battery in my experience. So if you can get it on a charger before it dips below 50, that's my recommendation. Also, you don't always have to top it up to 100% fully. If you go up to 95%, that's basically a full charge as well. So don't feel like you always have to hit 100. If you gotta get on your way and you're at about 95, 96, that's still pretty fully charged. That's basically it. That's the battery health feature on your iPhone. So like I say, don't get too worried unless you get in them 80s. Then you might wanna take a look at your usage, see if the phone is draining quicker than usual. But if you're in the 90s, you should be just fine. But if you don't wanna see those capacities go down too much, try to keep your charging habits 
pretty good, whereas you don't let the phone deplete completely and you don't let it get really low in the percentages, like down in the 30s, down in the 40s. This is gonna take a toll on that battery as well. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick Carroll helping you to master your technology.